Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the third video of Windows Server 2012 tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to install additional domain controller on Windows Server 2012. So further let's have some idea about my demo environment. So in my demo environment I have previously installed one domain controller which is Win2K12 DC01 you can go and verify here. I have installed this domain controller in my second video of Windows Server 2012 tutorial. So I have installed Active Directory and by default the DNS is installed with the Active Directory. So my domain name is victorinfosol.local. I have my primary domain controller DC01 IP address 192.168.168.1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
add role and features because I am going to install active directory domain services on this server click next and I'm going to select my DC02 server which is reflected here and select from here active directory domain services and yes I need to install required features as well as so click add features next leave it default everything next and I'm going to hit install button so it will install the active directory service role on this machine after the after the installation of active directory domain services is, is done on this machine we are going to promote this server as a domain controller that is the final step for creating or adding additional domain control on your environment so just wait for the installation of active directory domain services so you can see feature installation installation started on my target server which is win 2 k 12 dc 02 vector infosol dot local so it will take hardly one or two minutes to get the installation done So the installation is success and configuration required. As I told, I am going to promote the server as a domain controller. So I'm going to click on it. So it's Active Directory Domain Service Configuration Wizard. So what I am going to do, I'm going to select Add a Domain Controller in Adjusting Domain. So my domain name is Victor Infosol, and I have already logged in with my domain account, which is Victor infosol slash administrator so good to go going to click on next so now it it will ask for directory service register mode password so going to configure it so I am going to put my password here and going to click next next and it will ask to replicate from which domain controller we have only one domain controller so either we can select any domain controller or my domain controller so going to select my domain controller click next and the database file log file says volume file everything good I'm leave it default location and here is the script which is going to run to promote this server as a additional domain cutter so if you want to save you can save it on desktop I'm going to ADC installations and save it on desktop close next and it will check the pre-request for installing the domain controller on this server so once if it verify everything good so we can good to go to install the active directory server you can verify all the pre-requests check are passed successfully so we are done and finally we are going to install so it will it will replicate data from our old server which is DC01 it will replicate all the details like DNS active directory users group partition everything group policy details everything it will going to replicate from the DC01 to DC02 once the everything is replicated we are good to go to check and find the this DC02 is also promoted as a domain control if you go right now you can verify this is uh, under the computer once it's promoted to domain control you can verify from here we have two domain controls so and right now you can verify we we uh, the DC02 is also promoted as a global catalog domain control 
you can verify from here so it will take few minutes to get restart the server to complete the installation full installation of factory active domain services so you can see it's going to restart the server because the installation is required to reboot the server for active directory so the server is rebooting So the server is rebooted. I'm going to hit Control to Dell. I'm going to put my credential. So you can verify. Sham. Once the server is login, I want to check from there also. Active Directory uses since computers, and the data is replicated successfully or not. So just wait for few seconds. One more thing: if you go to Tools and Active Directory Site and Services. under the site if you go and expand the servers you can verify we have two servers right now which is domain controller the first one is win2k12 dc01 and dc02 and if you go to ntds settings it will take some time to replicate here the connection between the port domain controller so it will take some time so you can verify Active Directory and DNS is both are installed successfully. If you go and check the DNS, you can verify the same setting has been replicated from our DC01 and the DNS replication is successfully happened. And if you go to Active Directory users and computers, expand the domain name. Here is oh, our main OU India, which we have created. Groups, so users, servers, and workstation. Everything is replicated successfully. And now I am going to verify site and services on this server. Where it is, site name is India. Our both server is here. If you go to any of the servers, you can verify one connection is created here, which is so automatically generated. And if you double click on it, an object security everything seems good if you go to click here change schedule and I'm going to select the all days all hours and four time per hour and apply apply okay so let's verify same on other server it will take some time to replicate here so just wait for 5 to 10 minutes
either you can do one thing or replicate now Active Directory Domain Services has replicated the connections so now you can verify we have automatically automatically generated connection for another domain controller is created or and if I go to DC01 you can see for DC02 server and the second for DC01 server so the replication channel is created automatically connections site name India everything seems good so this all about the installation of additional domain controller on Windows Server 2012. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and please subscribe me for more videos and thank you for watching and in next video I am going to show you how to transfer or move FSMO role from one domain controller to second domain controller. So thanks once again for watching. Bye bye.